Driving into Hanwabara today was a bumpy ride though through potholes that over time have turned into craters. It gets worse now with the wet weather and overcrowding as city residents head into Hanwabara village to buy betel nut on the roadside. It's also a health risk with the clogged drainage system, the piles of rubbish and the exposed sewerage villages and passers-by also raised concerns. Like members have been doing nothing, they've been just driving past, going and coming, but nothing has been done on this road. Healthy on all man, beginning of Sakarim Kaikai, especially on market mama Sakarim Kaikai, only by him, the road too, you know, good plan. At the same time, you can look at some suri too, leaking everywhere. So it's unhealthy. Plenty population, all buses low. Tahun lalu saya kencing pemi, orang kampung kita loya. Nampi lu kau sem, plus loya memang go bagra pokok. So road condition sem. Wara tu emos drainis go bagra. Okay, wara walk lo kamin side na bagra. All community lo side side na. Pokok tu wara we rubbish na. All this lah will go down em. Kenos sem. Pollution em take place na. While others are happy to carry on their daily routine because this big village has always been their way of life. Hanwabada is situated on prime land, the village established in the early days before colonial rule. Over two centuries now and Port Moresby has grown into a metropolitan city. But for the people from the big village, they are squeezed into one corner as efforts to address their immediate needs remain. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.